Hey Air Signs, so this video is going to be something completely different from what I normally do, what I usually do. This video is going to be all about whatever comes out. So it could be about your family, about a lover, about a friendship of yours, about your job, about how you feel about yourself. It is whatever seems to come out. It could be a warning that you need to hear, that you need to be weary of. It will be whatever that needs to come out. So this is going to be for the air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I already did this for the fire signs and the water signs. Um, after you, I'll be doing it for the earth signs and then I'll be done. If you like to book your personal reading, you can do so through the link in my description box. I'm also doing a giveaway on my Oracle deck, the Mass Feelings Oracle COVID-19 edition. Um, so the Instagram that I'm doing the giveaway through is in the description box. It's ethereal. Um, dot mommy m-a-m-i-i -I. I also have ethereal dot vibes um vibes is v y b z <laughs> um that one I didn't post a giveaway on but I did tag my other page so yeah so this is going to be for the air signs Gemini Libra Aquarius what is it what's what's gonna come out whatever that needs to come out that they need to hear that they need to know that they need to be uh, aware of whatever that comes out what is it okay seven of cups what is okay okay i try to catch it with my wrist and that didn't work out okay so i see that you have a lot of options you have a lot of options financially you have a lot of things honestly i feel like you have too many things going on and it doesn't have you focused the magician is here reversed now if you don't know the magician upright it's when you're focused motivated you have everything you need in front of you to do what you got to do whatever whatever right it's reversed though so that means the opposite seven of cups um although it's not the seven of pentacles i still feel like you have too much going on either financially or mentally like you have too many business ventures going on you have too many thoughts of what you should do next you have too many thoughts of your future of your past of your current situation like i see that you're like overthinking to the point that you're so unmotivated it's like you're taking all your energy away from you by overthinking you're taking all your energy of what you could be focusing on by overthinking clarification on the seven of cups i'm not taking those Yep, Queen of Pentacles reverse. You're either unstable financially or unstable mentally. You're just you're just stressing too much. You're stressing about something specific way too damn much. And it just has you feeling unmotivated. It has you feeling stressed. Not even stressed though. I mean, yes, yeah, stress, it can be a part of it, but it just has you feeling like you don't want to do anything. You don't want to focus on anything. Clarification on the magician. strength card you got to get your mind right you got to get your mind right you have to get your mind right that's something that you need to focus on what's coming out right now for this storyline which i'll be doing another one um but for this storyline you really just gotta have some self-control you gotta really just focus on yourself it could be due to some type of heartbreak and that could be what you're wondering about you're wondering about the future with this person you're wondering about you know um what even went wrong what did you do wrong what did they do wrong are they gonna come back this and that like you're just it's just too much this could involve a an aries or a leo we have the magician and the strength card my cat is crying so i'm gonna let her in come on girl come on hurry up let me get this other deck so i can get more cards okay so this deck i really like if i'm not mistaken it's called the witch's kitchen and it has like ingredients and well i'll show you because it's hard to explain it has ingredients and the words that go with it which I really like. But I'm not going to use it yet. I just wanted to have it by me since I was already getting up. Alright. So for the air signs, what else is going to come out for them? 
Pretty air signs. What else is going to come out for them? Hierophant, Taurus energy. You really just got to stick to the bigger picture. Stick to your goals. Remember who you are exactly. Remember what you got going on. Let me turn off this heat because, baby, it's hot. It's very much hot. Alrighty. So, yeah, um, you just got to remember who you are. Remember your morals. Let's say it is regarding a person. Remember your morals. Remember your beliefs. What I don't know how to explain it. It's just remember who you are, what you would allow, what you wouldn't allow. Remember, you know, um, what you grew up on even. And then, yeah, Seven of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So for some of y'all, it's regarding a person. For others of y'all, it's regarding a job. You have a bunch of different business ventures that you're um, focusing on. And it's just too much. You got to stick to one. You have to stick to one. You gotta, you just really gotta accomplish one and then go to the next one and then accomplish that one and then go to the next one. But all the jumping around and it's just too much on your mind. You're gonna burn yourself out. Clarification on the Hierophant though. It's like, I'm feeling what it means, but I can't really explain it. I can't really explain it. Queen of Wands reverse. It's like, don't allow anyone or a situation to force you into what you know isn't right in your eyes. Like, stick to your beliefs. Stick to your code of ethic. Like, see, even the justice card is at the bottom of the deck. You got to stick to what you believe in, pretty much. You have to. You're all over the place. You're overthinking. You're doing too much. You got to stick to what you believe in. It's just way too much. All right, what else? I'm going to go in with the Oracle deck now. Oh, great. Half the damn cards. Bro. All righty. What else? What else? What else? What else? Oh, what else? binding i'm trying to tell you so tea tree binding you're you're sticking it out for things that you really don't enjoy doing or that you don't believe in or that you know you know it's burning you out like you're you just connecting yourself you're sticking it out in situations that you know you shouldn't be in you're binding yourself to things that you know you shouldn't be binded to what else reconciliation basal reconciliation i feel like you gotta reconcile with yourself honestly with your higher self you're you're getting out of tune with yourself you've allowed something or a situation to go on for far too long you're burning yourself out like let's say you know you have about three different business ventures that you're focused on along with three different collabs that you're doing with other people you're burning yourself out you need to Tap back into yourself, reconcile with yourself, focus on you and what you got going on. Focus on just one thing, honestly. If you feel like you can handle two different things, then focus on two different business ventures or endeavors and focus on that. But you just, you have too much going on in your brain. You got to relax your brain. You really got to relax your brain. And let me get one more card. Dispirited. St. John's word, dispirited. I'm telling you, you got too much going on in your brain. You're feeling dispirited. <laughs> or despirited, however you pronounce it. Shit. But you're, it's just, you need to get back to yourself. Moral of the story, you're doing too much and you need to get back to yourself. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. All right, so I'm going to go into the next storyline. I'm going to go into the next storyline. Okay. So 
what is the next thing for the air signs gemini libra aquarius what is the next thing for the air signs gemini libra aquarius what is the next thing What is the next thing for the air signs? Let me pick up this card. Okay, so we have the Queen of Cups and the Chariot. Clarification. Let me get one more card. The Nine of Wands. Sagittarius energy here. A lot of fire sign energy is here. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Hmm. All right, so for the second group of people, you have to move on from someone or something. For some of you, it could actually be like a really bad experience that you that you had with um, with police, possibly a jail cell. Um, for some, it could be a bad experience that you had in a car or a plane, a train some type of transportation. And for others of you, it's just a love connection that you have to move forward from. I see that you are putting up a fight to move forward. I definitely see that. I see that you're finding the strength to move forward. So congrats to you for that. So just allow this to be confirmation that you need to continue moving forward from whatever it is that pained you, that's bothering you, that you know is bringing you out of character. You gotta keep it pushing. Clarification on the Queen of Cups. Queen of Wands. It could be regarding someone who had you in a third party situation, but I don't even want to go that route. It could be regarding someone that you had a lot of love for. Like you may have nurtured them like a mother would or like gave them unconditional love like a mother would. Like I just see that this is regarding someone who either you did that for or they did that for you. But either way, I see a lot of love. I see a lot of passion. Clarification on the chariot. Ooh. The seven of swords came out with the page of cups as a clarifier for the chariot. So that honestly just lets me know that you know that you need to move on because you don't trust this person. You don't trust this person. You may not trust their family, honestly. It's something about not being able to trust someone. And that's why you have to walk away. It's like you don't want to, but either their immaturity or their family, it's like you have to walk away. You feel the need to walk away. You feel like they're very sneaky. Like in a child's way. Like, you know, kids, they'll... Okay, you know those memes and like those TikToks like, oh, my kid is in the other room and I don't hear anything. Like that's a red flag, basically. It's like that. It's like they're very sneaky. Like you have to wonder like, okay, what is it that they're doing? Who is it that they're talking to? When they're at work, are they really at work? Like I see that this is somebody that you have to, that you have to constantly worry about. Clarification on the nine of wands. And it's like, you know you need to move on. Page of Swords. You know you need to move on. And honestly, it's to the point that you know you don't even have to speak on it. It's like this person knows what they're doing. And speaking to them about it, it's either they're going to gaslight you or they're going to act nonchalant. Or they're going to um, they're gonna act very childish. They're going to act like they don't know what the hell you're talking about. Like It's like this isn't a conversation that needs to be had. This is someone who you would just simply have to walk away from. You don't have to do no explaining. You don't have to explain why. You don't have to get any closure. It's literally just, 
I have to let you go. That's it. You don't even have to let this person know. Like, you could simply just block them and they'll know, like, damn, they, they got fed up with my bullshit. They got fed up with my shenanigans. Like, I feel like if you speak to this person, like, hey, you know, it's time that I cut you off. It's time that I let you go. You know, I have to move forward without you. Like, if you do all of that, it's a possibility that this person has the ability to talk you out of it and then you're right back in that loop so it's like you really just have to find the strength to sit there and walk away without making it known this person is gonna catch the hint because they know what they're doing is wrong they know or they know how they're treating you is wrong regardless of what they're doing they know it's wrong and they they would know exactly why you're walking away so this isn't even a situation where you have to explain it Okay, what else? Fortify. I don't know how to pronounce that word. Enchanita. I don't know. An expulsion. You literally have to let this person go. It's time you release this person. It's time you release this person. I feel like once you release this person, I feel like, well, damn. This person may trigger your anxiety, your depression. They may, like, trigger things in you. Well, not things, but negative feelings in you. And I see as soon as you let this person go, you're going to feel more relaxed. With the chamomile relaxed, you're going to feel way more relaxed. You're going to feel way more at ease. Even at the bottom of the deck, onion tears. They made you cry too many times. This could be a romantic connection because Rose Romance is at the bottom as well. Um, but onion tears, this person made you cry way too many times. This person made you feel away way too many times. And yes, when you walk away, you may cry. You may break down. You may be hurt. But that's all a part of the healing process. So just feel those emotions and decide to keep it pushing because it doesn't really look like this person is the best person for you. Or it doesn't look like this situation is uh, benefiting you in any way. Romance. Arnika, recovery. You need to take the time to recover your mind and your heart. Like, you you endured too much. You endured too much. It's like, it's to the point with witch hazel sensitivity, you're way more sensitive than you once were. It's like, even here, Knight of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. You're so sensitive that you feel like you have to be on guard with everyone. You feel like you have to be on defense mode with everyone. And you really don't need to be. You really don't. You feel like you have to be on guard with everyone. Like you're quick to snap at somebody. And it's because that's how this person that like, it's like that was a consistent feeling in this situation or in this connection. It was a consistent feeling and it came to the point of you feel like you, that's how you have to be with everyone. It's like you feel like you're on protected, like protective mode for yourself towards everyone and everything. And you don't have to live like that at all. But I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Um, one of my followers recommended it. Underscore one Gotti underscore. So shout out to you. I actually like this and I think I'm going to do it more frequently. I actually like it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Make sure y'all like. Make sure y'all subscribe. My PayPal and my Cash App is in the description box. Just in case y'all want to tip me or whatever. If you'd like to book your personal reading, you can do so through the link in my description box. And don't forget, I am doing a giveaway with this Oracle deck. So make sure y'all um, check out my Instagram, which is also in the description box. But thanks for watching, you guys. Bye.